Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Amanullah. You are watching my YouTube channel, Dr. Aman's video. Dear viewer, today we are going to discuss the McFarland standard, which is also known as turbidity standard. McFarland standard or turbidity standard is used in the bacteriology in order to adjust the turbidity of a bacterial suspension. What is bacterial suspension? Bacterial suspension is a solution when you take a bacterial colony and emulsify in a normal saline or a nutrient broth, then the resultant solution will be a bacterial solution. So this McFarland standard or this turbidity standard is used to calibrate the turbidity of the bacterial suspensions. Now, the question is that why do we need to calibrate the turbidity of a bacterial suspension? We need to calibrate the turbidity of a bacterial suspension because we want to know the number of bacterial cell in that suspension because for in further process we want to test a known number of bacterial cell against antibiotic in antibiotic sensitivity testing. Therefore, it is very, very important to calibrate or adjust the turbidity of a bacterial suspension against the known standard which is McFarland standard. First of all, I would like to tell you that what is the composition of McFarland standard. So, in very simple words, the turbidity, I am sorry, the turbidity standard or the McFarland standard is made up of two solution. Number one, one percent solution of barium chloride. I'm sorry, agar mein kuch galat lik raho, I think it is like this barium chloride and one percent solution of the sulfuric acid H2SO4. So these two solutions are combined in order to produce the McFarland standard or McFarland stand, uh, McFarland uh, sorry turbidity standard or McFarland standard. But the question is that what would be the proportion of these two solution? So it is very important. If you are going to make 10 ml of McFarland standard, then you need to add 9.95 ml of sulfuric acid, 1% sulfuric acid solution and 0.05 ml of 1% barium chloride solution. In this way, the resultant 10 ml solution would be 0.5 McFarland standard solution. What do we mean by 0.5 McFarland standard? Because there are different standard of this solution. One is 0.5, then 1, then 2, then 3 and then 4. In this increasing order also increase the turbidity of the solution and resultantly it will increase the density of the cell. So the recommended range used in the clinical bacteriology is 0.5 McFarland solution. So therefore if you want to prepare 0.5 McFarland solution, you need to add these two solution in this proportion for 10 ml or if you want to do for 100 ml, then you can do 9.5, sorry 99.5 plus 0.5 for 100 ml solution. Now, what is the, what will be the density of a bacterial solution? which is compared to this 0.5 McFarland standard. Again, I repeat, if you have a solution in a test tube and it has a 0.5 density or it is a 0.5 McFarland standard solution and you are going to compare a bacterial solution with this turbidity and you make the turbidity of the tested solution equal to this turbidity, then what would be the number of cell in this solution, which is very important because we are doing this practice or this procedure to know the number of cell in the solution. So at 0.5 McFarland solution, the number of bacterial cell 
and the bacterial suspension would be 1.5 into 10 raised to the power 8 CFU colluning forming unit per ml. So, therefore, for doing antibiotic susceptibility testing, first of all, you need to standardize your bacterial suspension. Usually, it is a common practice in subcontinent or some other regions that people prepare bacterial suspensions through their guests and they directly process it for antibiotic susceptibility testing or they directly prepare lawn from that bacterial suspension on the surface of muller hunten agar which is wrong practice. First of all, after preparation of bacterial suspension, you need to standardize your bacterial suspension. Why you need to standardize your bacterial suspension? Because if you are putting larger cells or more cells than this numbers, then it will give you false resistance because you are dumping a lot of cells on the surface of muller hinton agars, then the disk of then there is disk of antibiotic would not be able to give you the reliable results. Therefore, you need to standardize. So, if you are putting more cells than this range, this will give you false resistance or if you are putting lesser cells, lesser number of the cells in the bacterial suspension and you are going to prepare the bacterial loan on the surface of the molar hilton agars, then it will result in false sensitive because this lesser number of bacterial cell on the surface of the molar hilton agar will be easily inhibited by the antibiotic disc on the surface of the molar hilton agar. So, therefore, McFarland standard is very, very important which is used in the return bacteriology to adjust or to calibrate the turbidity or in other word you can say that the density of the bacterial cell present in the bacterial suspension. And I would also like to tell you that in some advanced lab or in good laboratories there is an instrument which is known as nephlometer. So, nephlometer is used instead of McFarland standard. The basic mechanism of the nephlometer is same, the basic principle is same, but here you can do this process with the help of an instrument rather than manually comparing the bacterial suspension with a, with a known McFarland standard against the black background or against the background of black and white lines. Preferably, it is better to compare against the black and white line. So, it is like black, white, black, white. So, it is better to compare these tubes against these black and white lines. Here you can better differentiate and better see the, turbid, the difference in the turbidity. I hope that you would like this video. So, if you find this video interesting and valuable, I will request you to subscribe my YouTube channel, Dr. Aman's video and I will also request to hit the bell icon in order to get notification for my upcoming video. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. Fia Amanillah.